Hey guys, today's video is kind of a controversial topic and it's a topic and a situation that I don't really want to get myself into but I have to speak out for a fellow developer and a person that I've worked with for translating their experience on Roblox. Now, disclaimer before the video starts is all the information that I'm talking of right now that I'm saying is all public information and it's information that I know at this point of time, which may change, the situation may change after this video is uploaded, but at this point of time, at 5 a.m., my time, GMT plus 7, this is how the situation is. And the tweet started 17 hours ago, but I decided to make a video very late just to see how the community and other developers react to this situation. Not all information I'm going to say may be accurate, or there may be some si some information that you may disagree with, which is perfectly fine. But this is the situation that I see it, and the situation that is happening right now. So everybody knows the verse, right? Verse, the guy that created Speedrun for the place that has a billion visits, updated two days ago. And if you played Roblox around 2015, 2016, you probably played it at least once in your life, right? This creator has their own studio called Blocks Universe, where they create realistic hand RP without VR and other games, right? But in this topic, in today's topic, we're going to talk about one specific experience that they have created, and that is Jaw Space. Draw space beta. Now, you may be looking at this experience and be like, okay, it's a typical drawing game. What, what's it to you? It has 30 active players, 23,000 visits. It's a new game. It's updated an hour ago. What's wrong with it? And what is wrong with it is it is very similar or, well, more so identical to another drawing game that you may know called free jaw now maybe wondering okay they're both drawing games you can't copy a drawing game well competition is always there right so it's fine that it's a drawing game but one thing that I'm gonna show you is gonna blow your mind and be like what the hell are you doing I'm gonna show you right now so first I'm going to show you the tweet that started all of this and then I'm going to do a comparison. So on 1 p.m. my time, Nicole, also known as Resilim, the creator of Free Jaw, made a tweet saying, Hey, what the is this versus Roblox? It isn't even remotely different from Free Jaw. Now if you look by the screenshots over here on the left side, this is Jaw Space. This is the UI, this is how it looks like. This is free jaw. This is how the free jaw UI looks like. Again, this is jaw space. This is what the UI looks like. And then this is free jaw. Notice how they look very similar. Again, with these other ones. Left, verse, right. Jerusalem. This jaw space this free draw it looks identical it looks identical <laughs> so i'm gonna show you how it looks like really so now as you can see i have joined free draw this is how the ui looks like very very similar to the screenshots huh because this is their original the original experience looks like this now, FreeJaw has released the latest update, version 1.4, where the chain, where the name changes from FreeJaw to just the FreeJaw with icon changes and UI design changes as far as for colors, etc., etc., as you can see here. So you have the save. You have create. You can type in whatever it gets filtered. If you can't, there's that, right? You have the... RGB colors at the side here, you have the eyedropper, you have more 
customizations for RGB you have the thickness, transparency you have the drawing tool, pen tool, stabilizing type, rope window intensities, you have the rope, eraser, radius for it you can claim a area, right? this is the part of the new update so and you can see also with all these other ones up here that you can look at it's, and the layers and whatnot with the icons etc etc and also you know the leaderboard right you have to look at the leaderboard so this is free draw and now let's go into draw space and see how that looks now before I head over to draw space draw space as you saw earlier got an update an hour ago guess what the update was after they've been caught out for the situation a while back a couple hours back they changed the UI to be black to be dark themed I don't know what they were thinking <laughs> with this I don't know if they thought it would be the greatest idea to change it to dark theme and to think it's fine right let's go ahead in the experience and show you the UI change difference that you would see if you look back in the video and as you can see this is jaw space the first thing that you notice is the player list the leaderboard it is so similar or you could say it's an exact copy with a few changes see the UIs up top as well you can see these UIs for redo, undo, top down camera you have the save with the icon create a new save file looks very very similar more so like an exact copy of free draw doesn't it now if you go to the drawing tab cool animation and all but all this is just change to dark mode this is a unique feature sure I'll give them credit for that but this is like the exact same thing as you can see for the vote kicking it's like the exact same thing for free draw <laughs> like free draw you have all these UIs at the bottom here you kinda get the gist of it right it's like exactly the same just a little minor minor very minor changes just to make it a little different like the text scaling and the size of some icons are a bit off but for the most part it's like identical it's identical which is crazy now the adjust tool which is a unique feature I'll tell you that but that uh, still doesn't save you from the UI that you've stolen from the coal right here. And this isn't all, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't all that they've done. First of all, the game's very laggy. You may not see it on my screen right now because <laughs> kind of optimized PC. But it had issues before that were making people lag a lot now this isn't it okay I'm almost done but this isn't it I'll show you one last thing now that last thing ladies and gentlemen is crazy blocks the guy that made flood escape has retweeted quote tweeted Nicole's tweet saying in 2014 verse the same guy that made draw space with speed run use their R6 animations without their permission of course it's all settled they've got paid and the credit was in the description but it's not there anymore as you can see from earlier as you saw from earlier and it was eight years ago okay it was eight years ago dude's 
if his bio says he's 21, then he was 13 at the time, okay? They settled it, it's fine. But it's very similar, as you saw from my gameplay and from earlier with Free Draw, it's very similar. What is going on here? Verse or whoever's on the Bronx Universe team, what is going on here? What are, what are you guys trying to achieve here? I understand you can have a drawing game, that's not wrong, okay? You can have a drawing game all you want. It, it's it's competition to other people like spray paint and free draw and speed draw and all these other drawing games. It's competition. I get it. We get it. But why go to the point where you have to restart the whole 2014 drama again by copying people's UI designs and changing a little bit of it or making it dark mode to try and hide the fact that you took their UI design, okay? I don't get it. I just don't get it. He said back then, he's been a victim of copying a lot so to where he has to DMCA and IP infringement his own items just so other people won't copy it. Now, Nicole, unfortunately, I don't think she can do anything about it, okay? Because it's UI designs. I don't think UI designs can really get DMCA for especially that kind of thing and on Roblox but at least it needs to be heard and be told again that this guy is repeating the same thing that they have done eight years ago now I have no knowledge if they've stolen any other games assets or any other things right all I know is that this is a situation this is a situation that needs to be solved or noticed by the community or people that are higher up because I believe this is this is fraud. This is bad. It's a bad look for Verse right now. And they've spent countless hours creating UI, and then you just take it from them. And it's not right. It's not right. You you may disagree with me all you want, but I just say it's not right. It's not right to steal UI elements and UI design from other people and then saying it's your own work. It's not stealing it 100%, of course, you can see there's differences, but 99% of the UI design or, quote, inspiration is like the exact same, the exact copy. This needs to stop. Thank you.